some of these stocks were too risky for the likes of Carl Icahn, who I think sold out at something like 72 cents or something, his shares of Hertz. You saw Buffett sell out of the airlines well in advance. They are people who did their homework on these things and were concerned about what they saw. Are you worried about what retail investors are doing right now? Well, I tell you, frankly, our investors, our customers uh, basically cannot be called retail. They, they have an average account size of, of $230,000, even though you know, many of them are much smaller, but that is the average. So the largest holdings are basically Amazon, Apple, Tesla, Alibaba, Microsoft, Facebook. I didn't see any of this uh, trading in Hertz and and the airlines that you, you usually mention. Um, so these are mostly um, invested in tech companies and, and the largest trading volume is in Tesla, and Tesla basically incorporates the ups and downs of the entire market. It, it, it's an exaggerated picture of the entire market. Uh, so if uh, it was interesting to hear the, the uh, previous segment about Tesla, it is, it is sort of uh, really hard to believe that it's happening the way it's happening, but it is quite conceivable that in 20 years, everybody will be driving a Tesla. It will still be driving. It, it may not be something that's taking place necessarily on your trading platform if you're not seeing it, but we do know Robinhood and others had seen massive swings in the retail investors who are coming in. And a lot of this is because you've got free trading. You've got people who are locked up at home. They don't have things like sports to watch. They don't have sports to gamble on like they used to. And, and I just wonder... When you hear things like that, uh, like the statistics that I just kind of ran through, does, does that give you cause for concern? Well, of course. Uh, you know, we have free trading, too. People are free to choose uh, zero commissions, in which case they will sell their orders to high-frequency traders like other brokers do. Uh, but as I say, yes, it's concerning, but, but we don't see a heck of a lot of this. So I, I, I really can tell you, I mean, margin borrowings are high. So the leverage the, uh, our customers assume is, is, is fairly high because we have, uh, that's basically because we, we, our margin rates are between half percent and one and a half percent. So they are much lower than in the rest of the industry. Uh, and, and yes, the, the speculation is concerning, but you know, it's, it's happened, though. It has always happened. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a, you know, it's, it's just far, far for the course. <laughs> Why do you think the markets have been so high um, up until yesterday? We'd seen a pretty incredible run. And, and still, if you look back over the last three months, we have seen things pick up substantially. We are well off the lows, even with yesterday's declines. Why, why do you think that is? Well, as I as I said before, I, it it is this um, notion that that this new digital economy is emerging from from the wreck of the coronavirus, and and uh, some people say it's because people are at home and they have nothing else to do but trade. Well, I don't know if that that is so. So. Uh, basically, our customers at Interactive Brokers, uh, they have 35 percent cash on the average. So I wouldn't say that they are uh, extremely overextended, but, uh, you know, may maybe maybe at other brokers you have a different picture. I, I, I really can't tell you. Uh, it, it, is, it is a problem, I think. <laughs>